Chris, what is our first main topic today? This comes from Aaron. John, I'm feeling the need, the need for speed. <laughs> Wondering if you saw the newest trailer for Top Gun Maverick. It's more than I could have hoped for. Admiral Iceman? The aerial combat <laughs> stuff looks absolutely fantastic. The tension between Maverick and Goose's son felt heartbreaking, and it just brought back all the feels from the original film. I can't wait to see this. What did you think of the new trailer? All right, thanks a lot for saying that in. And yeah, is it 2019? We got a Top Gun 2 coming? Yeah, a brand new trailer for Top Gun 2 just came out. And here's the really cool thing about it. As I was watching, I'm like, this isn't new, a new trailer. And then I realized this is what they showed us. This is one of the things they showed us at CinemaCon last year. And so that's why it looked familiar to me. This trailer is wonderful. I love this trailer. Like, you, you go back to the original... Top Gun, which is awesome in all of its ways. And the aerial combat and all that kind of stuff they were able to do back then was mind-blowing at the time. Today, it it still looks good. Like, it holds up today, but it's not like edgier seat kind of, like, teeth-cutting kind of action, right? You look at the stuff in this, it's like, oh my god, this looks amazing. And I love the fact that Goose's son's call sign is Rooster. I love that. I love that. Miles Teller looks great. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, Miles Teller might be the most underrated actor in Hollywood today. I mean, there are a few actors who deserve a lot more recognition. Ben Foster, guys like that, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people who, who don't think highly of Miles Teller as an actor, and you're wrong. I mean, it's all subjective, of course. But for, I'm saying you're wrong. This dude's amazing. And I think the way he's going to play off Tom Cruise and this is going to be great. You got a thought? Dude, I was going to say, first of all, I don't know why it popped into my head. Ben Foster is starring in a movie, and I forget what it's called. I just saw the trailer for it, where he plays a boxer who was in a concentration camp during World War II. Oh, yeah, they showed that. They showed that at CinemaCon as well. Oh, that trailer's coming out. Ben Foster looks incredible in that. Well, he's always great. But mm -hmm. second of all, I really love that Miles Teller has the Anthony Edwards goose mustache yes. as well. Which which is great because I remember when I first saw the trailer and I saw him in, I'm like, that stash doesn't do Miles Teller any favors. But then when you remember who's his dad, Goose, and he's right. got that same thing, then it completely, totally works for me. But listen, it has been a long, weird journey for Top Gun. Let's go back right now and visit the timeline of Top Gun, shall we? Top Gun 2 Maverick was first officially announced in 2017 with an original release date of July 12th, 2019. We we're just a couple hey, months away happen. from the three years <laughs> when it was supposed to come out. Then it got delayed to June 26th, 2020. So they bumped it about a year to 2020. Then in a rare move, they actually moved it up a couple of days after that to June 24th, 2020. Then after that, it got delayed again from June 24th to December 23rd, almost six months, 2020. Then they delayed it again to July 2nd, 2021. Then it was delayed again to November 19th, 2021, and which after shortly after CinemaCon, we found out that they delayed it again to May 27th, 2022. And I think I feel safe in saying it's actually going to happen this time. This time's the time. Yeah, not that July 2019 or June 2020 or December 2020 or July 2021 or November 20, May 27th is happening. We're really close. And it is almost here as a sign of confidence in that. They, of course, put out the new trailer. Chris, you had a chance to see the new trailer for Top Gun Maverick. What did you think about it? And is it actually going to come out now? I think it is actually going to come out. I think it's a real movie, you guys. It's a real movie. Um, I, I got to eat a little crow. This this was a great trailer. And I don't have the nostalgia factor. I'm not in love with that first gun, Top Gun movie. I love what? Val Kilmer in it. I really love I love everything that Val Kilmer's in, though. It's just not one of those movies for me. You know, Sonic's not for you, Rob. Top Gun's not really for me. But this trailer looks amazing. Are you comparing amazing. the two? Hmm? Comparing and contrasting Sonic with Top Gun. Yeah, they're totally on the same level. Just because right? they both have a need they're... for speed does not mean they're on the That's same true. level. It's, Sonic is faster. It's the exact same plot, right? I mean, Rob, you had a chance to see the trailer. What did you think, dude? I thought it looked great. I mean, what I love first of all, the aerial combat sequences in this, just the flying alone, looks amazing. 
looks amazing because they, 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 they're they now able, what, 35 years later, they're able to put cameras or even more than that where they couldn't before. So the technology's increased and we're seeing aerial combat the way it's never been photographed for a feature film like this before. So it looks spectacular. I like the storyline. You know, I like that there's some men on a mission element to it, putting the fighter pilots together. They need to, they need the training to go do this. They're the best of the best, but they still need to get because they don't have combat experience, so they bring in Maverick, who doesn't want to be a teacher. You I'm know, not a teacher, sir. I'm not a teacher. You know, uh, uh, it, it it ticks all my boxes. It, now, the question I have, John, is Meg Ryan going to have a cameo? No, I, I I don't believe she is. Is Goose's wife? Come on. I mean, I, I it would Miles be cool Teller's if she mom. did. Yeah, it would be cool if she did. I heard that she doesn't. I hope they rectify that. The other thing about it too is this: is that in this, you know, pursuant to what Tom Cruise has done with his career the last fifteen years, he, Tom Cruise actually does some of the flying in this movie. I know, which he did not do in the original, as far as I understand. So, he, but he was in the plane. There were other people flying. Oh, was it? Was that what yeah. was happening? So, but apparently, he actually does some of the flying. Yeah, in this part of the time it took was that he was learning how to fly jets. He's a pilot himself, but he learned how to fly right. these jets. Ray, did you see the trailer? Yeah, this? I did. What um, do you think about it? There was not enough air stuff in there for me what what they had i did like i just wish all the arguments take place in the air while they're flying <laughs> no no be, be, no no no. i'm being completely honest. like if air. him and goose or his son is going to argue they should be in the same cockpit and tom cruise should turn around and start arguing with him you know like uh everything with jennifer pull this car over yeah. right now i mean i just wanted more air stuff what they showed was cool but i wanted to be like super high velocity crazy like <laughs> there's, all there's super high velocity yeah craziness. but there's a lot of talking too what if this. you find out they're flying out to attack the moon does that change that's not possible <laughs> oh man <laughs> no 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 but i i do want to see like at least half of it in the air at least half this oh if, for sure this is two hour right a two hour movie probably i, I honestly don't there's know there's at least got to be 50 percent of it like, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess it's going to be closer to 15%. I don't think 50% of the movie will take place in the air. But you got a good 10% of it will be happening on the beach playing volleyball. A good 12% oh, singing yeah. singing random songs in the bar. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. That's yeah, part which is of it. Fine. Then you're going to have a good 8 to 9% of Tom Cruise trying to woo uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Connelly. Connelly. Uh, then you're going to have about 18% of Tom Cruise showing he has a disdain for authority. And then at some point, you're going to be, be left with some stuff to take mean. place in the air. I just like you said, Admiral Kazansky. I, I love, That's right. I love that, that. Admiral Iceman. So Admiral Iceman. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad you brought up Miles Teller, too, because I think this is a year where it is going to be kind of this make or break moment in his career because he has this movie and we've got the offer coming out. And yeah. I really, really think this is a year where people are going to take note of him and go, okay, this is this is a great actor. Either that or he's going to sink Paramount as a studio. <laughs> yeah. There's, well, there's two options. Tell, yeah, but, That's what but, I mean, because oh, he's in the offer. It's right, both yeah, Paramount, it's Paramount projects. By the way, Tom uh, Cruise. CJT, CJT in the live chat is also reminding me, he got a lot, about 5 to 6% of the movie for Tom Cruise uh to a soundtrack in the background just barreling down a highway on his motorcycle yes so that's which gotta be in the five, trailer yes which is also in the trailer a good five to six to seven percent <laughs> of the movie has got to be in there of that so i uh, personally i thought the trailer was fantastic are we gonna hear berlin's take my breath away no i'm gonna think hear so. a cover of it there's got to be a cover right because yeah, correct me if i'm wrong in one of the trailers were they not singing love and feeling in the bar again did they not or was it a new song i don't know if, in the bar it, this time? if the same song <laughs> I might. I don't know either. Don't I think if you're going to repeat a song from the first one, that's the one to do. That's yeah, the one to do. Because it was already an old classic when they did it in the original Top Gun. Yeah, but it's been like 36 years, so maybe they'll sing a great 80s tune instead. <laughs> I don't know. They'll all sing Highway to the Danger Zone. Or 99 <laughs> Luftballons. EDM version. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think of this trailer for Top Gun Maverick? I think it looks fantastic. And listen, they showed us, I've mentioned before, they 13, 14, 15, I can't remember exactly how much. They showed us a chunk of the movie at CinemaCon last year when it was still supposed to come out in November, which is why they showed us a chunk of the movie. And it looks amazing. I cannot wait to see this in its full entirety. How are you guys feeling about it? Whatever your thoughts are, guys, jump down in the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Guys, we want to take just a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, 
Masterclass. Masterclass is offering classes on a wide variety of topics, like all taught by world-class masters at the absolute tops of their field. Each class is broken down out into individual video lessons, usually like around 10 minutes or so long, and members can explore at their own pace. And each class is supported by downloadable materials, lessons, recipes, or more that you can all find at masterclass.com. For example, are you into streaming? Well, you can take the Building Your Streaming class taught by Ninja so you can sharpen up on your streaming skills. Or if you're interested in independent filmmaking, take independent filmmaking from Academy Award winner Spike Lee. You want to get classes on how to direct? How about from Ron Howard? The very first one I personally looked up and got into was Business Leadership by the great Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger himself. And I was absolutely enthralled thrilled with it. I love every single minute of this stuff. If any of those apply to you, you need to try Masterclass. So I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a John Campy Show viewer, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash campia. Once again, to get 15% off your annual membership, go to masterclass.com slash campia. And a special thanks to Masterclass for sponsoring this episode of The John Campia Show.